Mindfeel is about spreading the awareness of mental health amongst young people and teenagers. This is our team. Hi, I'm Julia and I'm a member of Mindfeel. Even though we cannot connect to all of our team members at the moment, I will happily show you our mugshots. Adam is Assistant MD, Tom is our Head of Finance and Caitlin is Director of Sales. I'm Rachel and I'm the Marketing Director for the team. Christiana is our Social Media Expert and Gracie is our IT Director. Even though many of people of our team are in isolation, we can confirm that there are no cases within the team. So, Julia, why are we talking about mental health? Sadly, we've all had a bit of an experience in mental health. But hang on, why should I say sadly? Because no one should have to feel like this. It shouldn't be a taboo subject anymore. After all, a proportion of people watching this presentation will have had some experience with mental health. To support our main business idea, we also decided to make photo boxes. The first version was quite plain and boring, so not many people seemed interested. However, we did have one decorated frame. It was the first one to get sold, so that we knew that we had to decorate all of them for future trade fairs. At the other two trade fairs, we also had a survey at the front of our stall. We reduced uh, asking people how they would feel. We reduced this to get people to go over to the stall and have a conversation with us and to gain a general consensus about how people were feeling that day. We also decided to do custom boxes. Uh, at our last trade fair, a young couple decided to order a selection of frames for their wedding to say thank you to their bridesmaids. We spent a total of £180 to create 30 units. After selling out of our first two trade fairs, this blew our minds. Really? What's wrong about talking about mental health? We decided to pay £6.50 to make each frame and sell them for £8 to make a profit of £1.50 each. For the first trade fair, we made a profit of £54.60, selling five or six units. This meant that we made £9 more than we needed to to cover the costs of manufacturing. This was really good for us. This is our social media. We try and post every one to two days to show our progress, our board and our happy customers. We use social media to hit our target market. We try to make it as personal and heartfelt as possible to show people that it's okay to be real with themselves and not to worry about anything. We've also posted information about how we found the experiences and the issues that we faced. This is our website. We have a live chat service where we can talk to peers and members of the public to give them advice. We're also getting a peer mentor course that we can reply to messages accurately. However, we're not properly qualified to answer all of the issues that will be raised, so we also have links to the websites so that we can give people the professional help they need. It is completely anonymous and we do not share any data or information of anyone that tries to get in contact with us. Our team fought a lot. A lot. We're all very different people, but we join in the like of business and the need to spread awareness of mental health. It took us a long time to get our ideas together and to settle the team roles, but once we did, we realised we worked very well together. We learned skills like communication. After all that arguing, we wanted to understand each other's points and perspective on business. We also learned skills about money management. We needed to learn how to handle money, how to buy things at a suitable price, and how to price them at our trade fairs to get a decent amount of profit. We always knew that we wanted to be environmentally friendly, but we never knew how to incorporate it into our business. So we decided to use old newspapers to wrap our products instead of plastic bags. We also like to meet in person and make any discussion, not make any discussion over our WhatsApp group chat. This is because information can be easily misread and then can cause arguments. We would, however, use it for any emergency occasions that we weren't aware of before. Being isolated for a long time means that it can really affect your mental health. So we all wanted to make sure we say, Thank, thank you for listening. Disappointment. There's nobody